Little wins, right? Yep. Like, I did, and there's Tom. In your play. Welcome to Retired Time Productions. Now, I got a Magic's Movie at a Pro question from a poster named Arthur Alvarado, and he wants to know, can he clear up some of his storage space on his hard drive by just keeping the final copy? So, I'm not sure if he means the final copy of the video or the final copy of the project, but if he just wants to keep the final copy of the video, absolutely he can do that. So all you have to do, of course, is go ahead and export the movie. And once you export the movie, you can go ahead and delete the project folder. Just go into My Media, Projects, and then go in and find the folder you want to get rid of. Right-click it, and then click Delete. And that will get rid of all your video clips and everything that you had and all you'll have left is your movie that you exported and I keep all my movies in one folder and here's all the videos that I exported right here I should say video and not movie but either way so I just keep just the movie in this folder okay but what if you don't want to delete the total project because you want to go ahead and edit it later and you might not only want to edit it later, but use some of the video clips to make another video later. So, what do we do? Well, the first thing is we start with organization. What I like to do is make a folder like this that has all of my video folders in it. And if I open that up, you can see in here I have all the videos that I made, each one in a separate folder. And if I open up the folder, it looks like this. We have each video clip and then the temporary files that Magix creates to go along with it. So if you open a video file in Magix you'll probably get these extra temporary files too. And you can see I've opened all of them in Magix right here. Now what I do to start with before I start the project, what I do is I create a folder within this video folder, give it a name, and then I'll take that name and copy it and create a new project with that same name as the folder. So when Magix opens and I'm going to create the new project, I'll just take that name from the folder and paste it in there and now I got the same name that I had on the folder and then I'll just click create project. Then I'll go ahead and open the folder and drag in all my video clips from my camera into that folder and this includes the main video and maybe I've got some b-roll, some secondary video clips and pictures, maybe even something for a thumbnail. And I'll put it all in here. Then I'll also copy or make a shortcut to the project file. And the way you find that is to find the project file that you just created, you can go into your documents, go to Magix Projects, pick the version of magics that you're using and within there you can find the project .mvp or magics video project file. Keep in mind that these project files do not contain all the video information. There's no video clips in these or pictures or anything like that. They just simply contain information about how the project was structured and what edits were done and so forth. So it's just a small file, not very big at all. And just saving that won't save your entire movie project. You need the rest of the content that's in your project folder in addition to this. Drag it over, right click, drag it over, let go, and say create shortcut. And that's how I got this shortcut down here. Now when I want to edit my project, all I have to do is click that shortcut and it opens up Magix Movie Edit Pro from within that folder and you can see here all of the video clips that I dragged into the movie onto the timeline right here. I'm in timeline mode. Now when you're done with the project it's kinda hard to figure out which of these files you didn't actually use and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get into cleaning up the cutting room floor. So some of this stuff you didn't even use but you don't know which ones. So how do you find out and how do you delete that video clip and its associated temporary files? 
Well, there's an easy way. Once you're in your project, you can actually go to the Import tab right here, go to your User folder, and then just find that particular folder, your project folder that you made, and then go to your main folder and find the folder that your project's in, and there it is right there. So, how do we know which ones we're not using? Well, it's simple. Just go up here and pick large icons, and then you'll see by each large icon that's being used, there's a red dot in the upper left-hand corner. The ones that aren't being used won't have a red dot. So I can see this clip right here I don't need because I didn't use it in the project. So what you do is right click it and then you can say delete or click delete and that gets rid of it so it's gone now. So that's the trick. You can clean up all of your extra video clips so you only have the ones that were used in the project. All right, let's clean up a second project. I'm still within my video folder. Let's go to this one right here, the Maytech F411. I'm going to open up that. Let's open up the project file that I saved. All right, now the project's open. Let's go back to my desktop and find the video folder and then find the Maytech F411 and now you can see all the red dots so here's three files up here that I had in the project but I decided not to use them and they will have some associated files with them and that's what I want to show you those temporary files so I'm going to do delete and now it says some of the selected files have internal project files do you want to delete these files as well now you can just say yes and it'll get rid of those extra temporary files too now before I do it, let's just look here. So here's the three files that I'm working on right here at the top. So let's go ahead and we'll, let's see, I don't know if I can get that on the screen at the same time, but you'll see after I'm done what happens. 128 and its other two files will be gone. So I'll just say yes. And that one's deleted. Now if we go back, you'll see 128 and the other two files are gone. I'll just do it again for 129. That's this one right here. Delete. Click yes to get rid of the other files. And you can see 129 is totally gone. And we can go ahead and do 130. Delete. Yes. And now you can see there's just most of them are gone, but there was a couple extra ones because I opened it twice, so I can just go ahead and get rid of them manually. All right, 140 is good. We used that one. And now we got 268 here. We didn't use that for some reason, so I could get rid of that one. Now, I don't think, let's see, it didn't have any uh, files associated with it. The next one didn't have any extra temp files and here's one down here that didn't have any extra temp files so you can see what I'm doing so I just cleaned up those extra files and now when we come back in here we don't have as many files it's not taking up as much hard drive space now but we still have all the ones we need if we want to reopen the project later okay so that's it I hope it helps this is how you can clean up the cutting room floor and free up space on your hard drive, but still have your project to edit later. Now, if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe because I'll probably have some other ones up soon. And also hit the bell notification icon and hit the notify checkbox. That way you'll get a message. Hopefully, YouTube doesn't always send out the notifications, but at least it'll give you a better chance of being notified when I have another Magic's Movie Edit Pro video up. Thanks for watching.